Okay, so here's part D. I'm glad, I'm glad you mentioned that. I think that's a, a wonderful thing to try to explore. Square root of 3 to the square root of 3 power. Do we know anything about that? Yeah. No. No. Okay. What about the square root of 3 to the square root of 3 to the square root of 3 power? What does this equal? Well, the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, that's 3. Okay. So this whole thing equals? It's the square root of 3 cubed. Square root of 3 cubed, which, which, which means is, what? It's 3 times the square root of 3, because you've square root of 3 times square root of 3, which is 3. So there's the square root of 3 cubed, right? Yeah, so this this part is 3. Uh-huh. So you have 3 times the square root of 3. Okay, is that rational or irrational? That's irrational. Okay. So this this didn't work. I think I... Well, if you're, you're working with an odd number here, that's, that might be why it didn't work. Interesting. Huh. So what's an even number we might want to try? Maybe well, root 4 isn't an irrational number. Okay. Maybe root 6. Ah! Yeah, you got some, you got some pretty good ideas tonight. Let's see if, if can you, can you try to figure out what this is? Square root of 6 to the square root of 6, whole thing to the square root of 6 power. <laughs> well, square root of 6 times square root of 6 is 6. Okay, so what does this simplify to be? Square root of 6 to the 6. Square root of 6 to the 6. And then, well, we can it's square root of 6 times square root of 6 times 3. Square, it's square root of 6 times 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 square root of 6. How many times are we multiplying there? 6 times. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. So then you can group them in groups of 2. And what do you get when you group them in pairs like that? 6. How many times? Well, you get 3 sixes, so it's 2 and 16. So here's another example. So either square root of 6 to the square root of 6 is... Rational. Is rational. We don't know if it is or it isn't. But if it isn't, we can take whatever number this is and raise it to the square root of 6 power and get... 216. Cool. All right. Cool. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Yep. So tonight we learned that you can actually have an irrational number to an irrational power. And it can be rational. And it can be rational. That's cool. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Maybe someday we'll go even a step farther and talk about dun dun dun, I to the I. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. But we won't talk about that today. All right. All right. All right. Good job, guys.